Hello students, how are you? Are you fine? That's okay. So this is Mr. Ahmed from the English department at AMS and I just wanted to welcome you for the new educational year which is going to be great inshallah. So let's start our today's lesson which is about nouns. So what is a noun? Okay, is it a word that refers to an action? No. Okay, is it a word that refers to a place, person, or thing? Yes, exactly. So the word school here, is it a noun? Yeah, okay. And the word get, is it a noun? No, this is a verb, it's not a noun. Okay, what about spider? Is this a noun? Yes, exactly. Okay, what about eat? Is it a noun? No, this word refers to an action, so it's going to be verb. So a noun can be a person, place, animal, thing. So for example, teacher is a noun because it refers to a person. Friend is also a person. Bank is a place. Monkey is an animal. Bag is a noun because it refers to a thing. So in this sentence, my teacher is funny. So what is a noun? Funny? No, this is not a, this is not the noun. Teacher, yes, this is the noun. Okay, this is the noun because it refers to a person. The dogs and cats are friends. So where are the nouns here? Dogs, yeah. Cats, exactly. Friends, of course. So the nouns here are dogs, cats, friends. Okay. So nouns can be divided into countable and uncountable nouns. So countable nouns are words that can be counted. For example, one banana, two bananas, or one apple, two apples. So we can add, word, add numbers to the countable nouns. We can, we can count them. And you know, countable nouns have got two forms, singular, or plural so the singular is just one thing and plural more than one for example one pen two pens so the plural form here is pens and the singular is pen on the other side of the page we have uncountable nouns which are words that cannot be counted they have and they have only one form which is singular Okay, so for example, rice, money, furniture. So as I told you before, uh, countable nouns are nouns that can be counted. And here are some tools that we only use with countable nouns. First, we have a or an. So a, you know, we use it with nouns that start with a consonant sound. For example, a student, a doctor, a pen, a meal, a class, and a college. And we use an with, you know, nouns that start with the, uh, the vowel sound. For example, an umbrella, an aircraft, an airplane, an animal. Next, we have many. And many here means a large number of something. And we use uh, the plural form of countable nouns with many. For example, I've got many books about this topic. Many cups many libraries many flights so remember to use the plural form of countable nouns after many next we have few and a few and this mean you know a small number of something okay so we use the plural form after few and a few also so for example few students attended the session okay you'll answer a few questions for homework so few questions, few tables, few apples, few holidays, few countries. So uh, now let's learn how to make the plural form for countable nouns. So in order to make the plural form for countable nouns, you just need to add S at the end of sing the singular form okay and this is for most of the countable nouns so the word house here is singular and in order to make it plural you just need to add s at the end of this word so it becomes houses mountain mountains 
bag bags okay and sometimes you need to add es for the words that end with s or ss ch or x for example the word glass ends with you know ss so in order, in order to make it plural you just need to add es at the end of this word so it becomes glasses and the word beach ends with you know ch letters so in order to make it plural you just need to to add es at the end of this word so it becomes beaches and the word effects we have you know an x letter at the end of this word so in order to make it plural you just need to add es so it becomes faxes and also we have the word class so in order to make it plural plural you just need to add es so it becomes classes so this is how you can make the plural form out of the words that end with s s s c h or x and with words that end with O letter, you're going to add either S or ES so that you can make them plural. For example, the word echo. In order to make it, you know, plural, you just need to add ES to this word, to the uh, singular form, so that you can make the plural form. So it becomes echoes, okay? Add ES to this word. With video, the word video, add S. So it becomes videos. Hepu hippos just add s letter okay tomato tomatoes here we, we we should add es to make the plural form out of the word tomato okay okay so it becomes tomatoes now i want you to look at the nouns in these sentences and try to figure out why the noun in each sentence is special in some way so pause the video and think about these nouns so in a the noun news is uncountable however many people might see the s at the end of this noun and think that it's a plural so actually it's an uncountable noun and it has only one form which is singular that's why we use the singular verb was with news and we didn't use where instead okay the noun species in B is special because its singular and plural forms are the same. So if you want to make the plural form out of a species, you're not going to change anything and you're gonna, not going to add anything. You just, you know, going to use the same form, which is species. So species can be singular or plural. Okay. In C, the noun team is a collective noun, and this means that it can be singular or plural, and it depends on the speaker itself. The noun staff in D is a collective noun that refers to a group of workers which takes a plural verb form. So the staff are, okay? we cannot say the staff is like you know the word people and the word please also so we use uh, you know pl plural verb form with these collective nouns sometimes we have nouns that their singular and plural forms are the same for example fish can be singular and also fish can be plural Sheep is singular and cheap is also for plural. Pajamas is singular and, and plural at the same time. So you can either you, you can either use uh, you know the singular or the plural form. Okay. Species is plural and species is also you know singular. And here are some irregular countable nouns that don't follow any rule in making their plural forms. So the word tooth, in order to make it plural, you just say teeth. Man, you know, becomes men in the plural form. Man, men. Woman, women. Child becomes 
children. Now let's move to uncountable nouns. And as I mentioned before, unco uncountable nouns are nouns that cannot be counted and they have only one form, which is singular. And here are some tools or quantifiers that we only use with uncountable nouns. Now let's move to the uncountable nouns. And as I mentioned before, uncountable nouns are nouns that cannot be counted and they have only one form, which is singular. So here are some tools that only come with, you know, uncountable nouns. So first we have much. A much here means a large amount of something, a large amount of an uncountable noun. For example, he doesn't earn much money. Okay? And we can also say much time, much food, much water, and much energy, and so on. Next, we have little. And little, little here means, you know, a small amount of something. Okay? Something that you cannot count. Okay, so after little we use an uncountable noun. For example, I have a little work to do. For example, we can also say little trouble, little equipment, little meat, little patience, and so on. So with countable and uncountable nouns, we've got some tools that we can use with both of them. For example, we have the, so the here, you know, we use it to, you know, identify a particular countable or an uncountable noun. So we can use it with both of them. We can use it with the singular form or the plural form of countable nouns or the uncountable nouns. Okay, for example, the boats, the books, the rabbit, the cheese the water, the meat, okay? So, the boat here is an accountable noun and the cheese is an uncountable noun, okay? So, we use that with both, you know, kinds of nouns. Next, we have some. And some here means a number or an amount of something. We can use some with both countable and uncountable nouns. But with countable nouns, we use it with, you know, only the plural form. Okay, so we cannot use some with the singular form of, of countable nouns. Okay, for example, we've got some problems with our TV. So can we say we've got some problem without S? No, we cannot say this, okay? Because with some, we use the plural form of countable nouns. Okay, next, I've got to do some work before I go out. So work here, is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. So that's why we didn't add S here, because it's uncountable noun, and it's possible for some to come in such a case. Next, we have any. And any here means, you know, a number or an amount of something, okay? So, however this amount or this number is small or large, okay? And we only use any with negative sentences or questions, okay? So, for example, I didn't eat any meat. So, this sentence is in the negative form, so that's why we can use any here, okay? Are there any stamps? So this is a question, okay? So it's possible for us to use any in such a case, okay? Just keep in mind that we only use any with uncountable nouns or the plural form of countable nouns, okay? So it's just, you know, somehow similar to some, okay? But we don't use some with questions or, you know, negative because any... Uh, is used in these two cases the questions and the negative sentences 
Okay, so here we have some tools that all also come with both countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, so we have a lot of, plenty of, which means a large amount or number of something. So they have the same meaning as many and much. Okay, but a lot of and plenty of can come with, you know, both countable and uncountable nouns. But with countable nouns, they only come with the plural form. Okay? So, for example, I've got a lot of coins in my pockets. So, coins here is a countable noun. And before it, we can find a lot of. Plenty of money has been spent on the education system. So, plenty of money, which is, you know, an uncountable noun. Okay, next we have enough. Enough here means the number or the amount of something which is needed. Okay, so it comes with, you know, the, the, the plural form of countable nouns or the uncountable nouns. For example, have you made enough copies? Okay, so enough copies. We have here accountable nouns and it's in the plural form. So it's possible to use enough here. Is there enough room for me? Okay, so uh, is there enough room for me? So enough room and room here is, you know, the space. Is there a space for me to sit uh, with you? So room here is, you know, an uncountable noun. Okay, and there is a question mark at this sentence. Okay, guys, here we have some questions, okay, about some nouns i want you to answer these questions pause the video and answer the questions okay so let's check these questions together so the word car is it countable yes it is okay what is the pl the plural form cars yes that's it so cars with the suffix s you're gonna add s at the end of the word car to make the plural form Okay, people, is it countable? Yes, it is. You can say two people, three people. You can add a number before the word people. Okay, what about sugar? Is it countable? No, it is not. It's an uncountable noun. Okay, what about apple? Is it countable? Yes, it is. Okay, you can say two apples, three apples. What is the plural form? The plural form, you're going to add S for this word to make the plural form. Okay, so it's going to be apples. Okay, what about cheese? Can you count the cheese? No, you cannot count the cheese. So it's not countable noun. It's an uncountable noun, actually. Okay, so this is, you know, our today's session, which was about nouns. Specifically, it was about countable and uncountable nouns. So I just want you to go back to the mini curriculum sheet and try to answer questions about countable and uncountable nouns and work hard, study smart, um, stay home, stay safe and see you soon inshallah.